Yeah, the uh, audition I just did, I was a uh, a bad guy cowboy, the the sidekick. Great movie title, Bad Guy Cowboy. Um, but I I would love to get it because I think I would get to ride a horse. Nice. Um, and just play a really like sleazy old school cowboy style of like villain. Yeah. Yeah. My wife did the audition. She read the lines yeah. with me. And she was like, "You're really gross." <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah. Josh. Yes. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex. It's the Corbin. I'm Rick. You follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon, follow us Twitter account, subscribe to the like button. I've often told my family that they're if if my career goes how I would love it to. They're gonna hate most of the characters I play. <laughs> yeah, because the characters the ones you're drawn I, to, the one I want to play, are like the the bad I could guys. See you being the... interviewed. Why do you always play the sleazy, criminal, crazy, violent characters? I just find them a lot more fun and interesting. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't like. I mean, I, I would, but it just doesn't like to play like the the main guy who's just like a regular average Joe. I'm like, it's just. It sounds boring yeah. as fuck. <laughs> I hope I hope we can be in a film where you play the sleazy, mentally deranged criminal, and oh. I play the CIA agent who nails your ass. I don't want to play a CIA agent. Oh, I would love all of those. The types that I could. Would I? Yes, yeah. but I don't. CIA, FBI. Give um, me the guy who bashes spies, people's faces in. Um, and rapes the horses politicians. and rides up on the women. Yes, <laughs> rape the horses and ride the women. What? It's from the. Blazing Saddles? No. Uh, if that's not Blazing Saddles? Three Amigos. Oh, that's right. That's bla that's Three Amigos. Rape the horses and ride what on the women. You want a double feature on a fun Saturday afternoon, friends? Watch the Three Amigos and Blazing Saddles. Uh, classics. Today we got a video. This is from uh, Dating Beyond Borders. Do Asians date the same way? So it has somebody oh. from Japan, India, Philippines, Indonesia, and China talking about dating. The dating in, prospects. Which is obviously something... A totally different world than an American. Game. You're going to get different answers just with Indians alone, let yes. alone the other places. Uh, a lot of them are pretty similar in how they um, Asian cultures, right? Uh, more conservative in terms of the dating world. Sure. Uh, oh, this is intriguing. What, what cultures deem acceptable? I have no idea what the dating world would be like. In the other countries that you just mentioned in there, I have suppositions, but I'm sure they're all based on ignorance. So Here this is going to be great. The kissing is really not okay. Yeah. How scandalous sitting next to a guy. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah. That's how babies are born. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. My name is Miku. I'm from Japan. Hi, I'm Abhi I'm from India. Hi, I'm Alfred. I'm from Indonesia. Hello, I'm Janelle. I'm from the Philippines. Hi, I'm Chandler. I'm from China. Oh, it's all watching videos. Okay. There shouldn't be any public displays of affection <laughs> in my country. So no kissing. It, no. Uh, India's gonna step forward. India, it depends on where you are in India. <laughs> Three, two, one. Everybody yeah. up. <laughs> I want to know where she's from. Holding hands, uh, okay, but the kissing is really not okay. I don't see it. And when we see it, we always make a comment, wow, that's gross. Mm. And the Paul and I is kissing each other. They said, oh, that's so cool. That's nice. But in the four Japanese people, that's not okay. Even like uh, unfortunate. in the restaurant or cafe, a couple go together. And that's what people also make a comment. Why they're sitting next to each other, even though there is a space. When I was a ninth wow. grade, I used to go play badminton. And I was playing with these like guys there. And some guy saw me who knew my dad and called my dad saying, Hey, your daughter is with these random guys. Don't, not sure what she's doing. Control her. And I'm like, I'm literally playing badminton. He knows, man. Which, which like, there's no physical contact. I was sitting just next to the guy taking a break. That's it. Oh, okay. And like, yeah. well, that's, sitting wow. next to a guy. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah. That's how babies are born. Yep. It's the friends. The friends really like. Yeah. The, 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 like the phrase we say is like. Yeah. You're like with this chick. Oh, you're with this guy. Our friends will just embarrass the hell out of us, and that's just a cultural norm. I don't understand why. We have that in the Philippines. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, like this is why we're cousins. This is why we're <laughs> <laughs> we make this sound like. Ee! 
Yeah. 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 Okay, you make the sound. In India, if a guy likes a girl, it doesn't even matter if they're dating. It's oh, just oh, oh, likes. Oh, oh, oh. All the guy friends will start calling her Bobby, which means sister-in-law. In my country, we need to show a declaration of love before getting together. Three, two, one. What do you mean by getting together? <laughs> you don't tell people you like them. <laughs> <laughs> we say uh, kokuhaku, like confession. Before this kokuhaku happens, the relationship never starts. Mostly 90%, 94%, 99% guy uh, make a confession. I like you. I want you to be my girlfriend. I want to start a relationship with you. And then God said yes. Then they start. That's why they know exact date when they started the relationship. How Wait, does that interesting. Happen? Mostly? Uh, actually, that happens too. Mm. But I would say not mostly, but maybe 50%. Because we used to be exactly like what happens in Japan, and we have a term that's the same character as well. Gaobai. I remember when Go I by. was still at school, I used to write love letters. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a long time ago to tell the, the, the girl I like, hey, I like you, can we be together? You mm. know, it's like the talk. But I don't think young people these days in China, they do it anymore. It's all about money now. Mm. So when two people go on a date and the girl thinks, okay, he is rich enough for me. Mm. And the guy is like, okay, I think I like her. And it's more like a mutual agreement. Mm. <laughs> That's... Three, two, one. <laughs> oh. So first date, uh, when guy I'm interested in asking me to go out, I'm still not sure he's a good guy, but if I'm not sure, I'm gonna ask him, is it okay to bring my friend? And then can you ask your friend to come together and then let's go on a group date for the first time. And then after that, I'm gonna ask my female friend, how was he? And then, do you think he's good? And then she said, good. The entire family would go to the girl's house to see the girl. And then you're supposed to, I guess, first time meet with the family around. She's talking about arranged marriage. Alone, but that's pretty much it. And even then like subsequent dates, like at least five or six, if you are in interested in marrying them in an arranged marriage context, you are supposed to meet with the family before, Guy from China. if at Ooh, all, you're allowed to meet alone before getting married. So mm. it is group dating, except two people are dating to get married. What do you do within that five to ten minutes? Whatever you want, possibilities are endless, so whatever you want to try. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> is there this name? <laughs> <laughs> name before going you ask about other interests <laughs> or if you want to ride the thing before committing Ride the thing. Ride the thing. Involved in the dating life. Three, two, <laughs> India, one. step forward. Yep, step forward, <laughs> India. <laughs> oh, interesting. Japan, no. Actually, the marriage market happens in a lot of marriage different market. cities. Wow. But since Shanghai is probably the most international city in China, so we talk about Shanghai a lot. People's Square and a People's Park. When you go there, yeah. you will have parents sitting there uh, with a cardboard, their daughters and sons information written on it and they're pretty much Whoa. trading, uh, comparing notes and see if there is a match. Whoa. I'd say if, I mean, the selling thing part is a little weird or I guess uh, literally sitting with cardboards, but parents are very much involved in India as well. Like it's Whether it's arranged or not. Families get yep. married, not two individual people. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> parents choose the bride or groom and also matchmakers are everywhere. We all know Seema from Indian matchmaking. Parents do get involved, but not as much as other Asian countries. They just tell you that don't date yet until you finish School. college. And <laughs> they also like don't want you to hang out with too much guys, especially if you're a girl. There's this such thing as delicadeza in Filipino, which is women should be like more prude because we're still a very religious country. We often use matchmakers to find love in our Step country. forward, India. <laughs> I guess Indian matchmaking, if anyone has watched it, gives a pretty good context. Matchmakers will have these, I guess your profiles, which are called biodatas in India, like height, hair color, everything, like even if you're bald or not, from China superficial things not, to, I guess, yeah. the most right? profound they get they is what your yeah. hobbies are, yeah, so it's not extremely that. deep. And then they match you, you meet them, see if you like them. But one big thing, especially like in, I should say, people practicing Hinduism, is astrology makes a big, big Huge. part in matchmaking. Yeah. And there's also 
also something called manguik, which again, I'm not sure what it is, but it's like your stars are against you and mm -hmm. you're not allowed to marry anyone and you'll bring bad luck on the family. Obviously, there's a traditional side where your parents or your family gets involved with the whole marriage family thing. But, but here's a big but. In the more modern societies, they're friends. Literally, a lot of people's like friends. Oh, I think I know this guy. Oh, I think I know this girl. Like, you guys shouldn't just go out. Literally, friends do the matchmaking thing. And this is just a thing that happens in a lot of cities in Indonesia. My culture prioritizes pragmatism, pragmatism. over love. When yeah, it comes what's to that being practical? Three, two, uh, one. Yeah, and the assumed <laughs> armor. Yeah. Absolute Come practicality versus right love. From the Philippines first. Yeah. What's wrong with you guys? What kind of job do they have? You know, love, I see a lot of people that even though they are not that well enough, they still get married and live together. So I think they don't consider the natural big Filipino, uh, as much. West women especially, they want to see In the United prospects. States, yeah, population, we do. Out, you know, their a lot of Filipinos here. Their ovens, like, you know, poverty in some places. So there's a lot of pragmatism to it. But no, like the soap offers make it's so much about like the whole romantic side of things. So. <laughs> in India, people definitely want to marry for love, but one family don't allow that too much. And also Indians love big fat weddings and that comes with money. So. <laughs> <laughs> you want to have a whole spectacle. Yeah, it shouldn't have been a big fat Greek wedding. It should have been a big fat Indian wedding. Do a remake, man. Uh, <laughs> Just hire Indian actors. I think the reason is because China has been a very poor country for a long time. So people are very afraid of like being poor. Yeah. In my country, sex before marriage is totally okay. Stay there, India. Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, nobody said. <laughs> oh, oh, Japan! <laughs> Really? That's interesting. You know, maybe they just be cool. Most of them, they believe in God, but no like specific God. Maybe long time ago, people think sex before marriage is taboo, but most of people don't have to say it anymore. We have a place called Love Hall. It's like motel here, mm -hmm. but motel only for it's Love Hotel. So yeah. it's like yeah. only the purpose of going there is like having sex. <laughs> But okay, birth so control again, is huge because they're not having babies. And they yeah. actually have rates. It's called love hotels. I think love hotel. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Actually, they write the rates, like how the price per hour That's on like the, the red door. Light district. It says like, for, like for example, three hours for sixty bucks and stuff right. like that. The purpose of those prices is just States, for. Let's go to people's houses now. Yeah, because nobody cares. Exactly. <laughs> I just like how Japan is just like capitalized on like absolutely every element of like our daily lives. <laughs> it's like you guys nailed it. We rent a lot of smaller hotels and wanted yep. to uh, rent the rooms by hour or half days, mainly for travel, business travelers. But some and hotels people won't only let you in. But like obviously people have married. repurposed it and booked yep. it just to have sex. Like everyone knows what happens in Oyo room. Okay, oh, India's yeah, onto yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> okay, India's onto something. Oh, yo, it's yeah. the one how I was, ironic it is, like, right? Like sex before marriage, we're not allowing our countries. So now we're talking about. It. And it's and it's the longest topic. Exactly. <laughs> but full of energy. Thank you. Love stuff like that. Is the uh, gentleman in the middle gay? Oh, if he is, I would have loved to hear him talk about that. Me in, too. In his culture. Um, but no, that was great. Uh, it's so interesting how different cultures date. You know, obviously we've learned a lot about how India does, and she mostly talked. She even though she said love marriage once right she mostly talked about the arranged marriage yeah right? even though obviously in india it has changed a lot mm -hmm. in recent times and there are a lot more people young people having love marriages right as opposed to the arranged but obviously the arranged marriage is still big and massive and um just just part of the culture man and, yeah and people like a lot of people that i've known because like how we think of arranged marriage here is like we think of parents forcing you to get married right a lot Shotgun of on weddings yeah right a lot of people have more informed me it's like no it's just i always knew it was yeah, going to be just an expectation marriage. right it's very much like and uh, a lot of people are like i'm too busy to look for a wife and so they help me right and like it's not like you could still pick who you like better but they're the ones that bring them together because right. they're too busy working right so it's super interesting very interesting and yeah. i found i found obviously it's going to be different i bet regionally in each of the countries for example when they asked about public displays of affection as in kissing being acceptable. Yeah. India said it's not. I, and I think it also depends on where you are. Where you are. Yeah, for example, just my own personal experience. I remember Indrani and I were walking down the street in, in Kolkata and I had done a video for my personal channel where I gave her a kiss at the end. Mm -hmm. The amount of comments I got 
from Indians in Kolkata and elsewhere saying, show some, show some class, don't dirty up our country, don't dirty up our city. And the exact opposite in Mumbai, even wearing what, what Indrani could wear in Kolkata that would be considered socially risque is nothing in a city like Mumbai. Yeah. And I think it also, it's, this, it's said to be true and depends on where you are. It depends on where you are. It's, this, it's that way here in America. There's some places where you could do public yeah. displays of affection, no one blinks an eye. LA's that way. Well, also, especially, I mean, especially the gay community. I mean, oh, yeah. it is really common to see gay couples holding hands, kissing, talking about their spouse. It's just normative here versus if you were in what we, Mississippi or Tennessee. What anybody who experiences here is nowhere near what it is in other cultures. No. Kissing is just like kissing goodbye, hello, oh, it's for your friends and other. Is just it's weird actually if you don't. We're very physical, uh, touchy, hugging, yep, holding hands. It's just especially even when you meet a stranger. Yeah. Like I met someone at the party last night, two people I've never met before, and they immediately wanted to hug. Yeah, yeah. So obviously it's just difference of cultures. Yeah. Like I said in the in the sex thing, even though there's still motels and people, there are hourly motels depending on where you are. Oh yeah. And Sepulveda Bul Boulevard here in the valley is still the prostitute yeah. center of the valley. Yeah. So you can. You can still find them. They're just not as prominent anymore because people no. usually just like, just go to my house. Whoops. And everybody can communicate now via technology yeah. so they don't need to be on the streets. Yeah. And it's go to a house, go to an apartment. Yeah, we're going to go just to my place or your place yeah. and we're going to bang one out. I do wonder though because I see there's still those seedy hotels on Sepulveda Boulevard oh, yeah. that you know what they're being used for. Oh, yeah. they're, they're not near a business district. No. Or an airport. No, no, no. 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 You know what they're, you yeah. know what they're used for. Yep. It's just, I feel like Maybe back in the '60s, it used to be a lot more prominent because you, if you, you, there wasn't texting, there wasn't an easy communication, uh, yeah. in, or as an open. I mean, the six there was open love in the '60s, obviously, but those right. were mostly the hippies. And the other thing about premarital sex here, it, at least for example, in Los Angeles and New York, the cities that we know the best, is even when you ah! when you find people who would be of the opinion that you should wait. Mm. They tend to not be judgmental of those who don't. Yeah, you'll find in other parts of America the exact opposite. You are freaking, you can be disowned from a family in certain parts of America if you had sex before marriage. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, it's great video, very informative. I loved it. I loved it. Um, yeah. It's it's similar to the Jubilee video in terms of the spectrum, right? But they just step forward, and so it's a more simple. It's so fun. Yeah, I would love to get some stupid babies to ask some of these questions. Yeah. I think here. Just to good good podcast idea. Yeah, 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 maybe. Uh, anyways, let us know what you thought about it. Uh, if the audio changed some, I'm sorry, it stopped. Oh crap! This thing's had a mind of its own for yeah, I don't know two weeks now. <laughs> anyways, uh, let us know down below. Just